Hi, my name is Harlow. I'm an intern here at CCTV, and this is a tutorial on Audacity, which is an excellent uh, sound editing program that can be found totally for free because it's open source at the following address, which is audacity.sourceforge.net. Here you download it, put it on your computer, and once you've done that, you're ready for the next step, which is setting everything up and learning how to record your own programs, like podcasts and such. Here is the basic setup of the interface. Over here you have your cursor controls. These are a little bit more advanced and we'll get onto that later on. Over here is your regular tape deck style interface with all of the controls that you'd normally find. So, including rewind, play, record, pause, stop, and fast forward. Further on we have some monitors over here that are that show the real-time output as you're recording and listening to your playback. And we also have some other handy controls that we'll be going into in just a moment. The first thing you need to know is how to change your preferences by going to the Audacity menu at the top of the screen. Let me just zoom in here. Oops. The Audacity menu, Preferences. And here you see a whole bunch of tabs have different parameters for you to control. The most important are Audio I.O., which stands for Audio In and Audio Out, Quality, and Directories. But let's look at Audio I.O. first. Once again, Audio I.O. stands for Audio In and Audio Out. And this is the most important tab because it's from here where you can specify what devices on your computer will handle your recordings as you make them. Every computer is equipped with a sound card, which is a special device that allows you to hear and record sound. Make sure that under playback, the device is set to match your existing sound card. On a Mac, you'll see built-in output as an option, um, or built-in audio, which means that the Audacity program already recognizes your default sound card and will use that automatically. On a PC, you might see uh, the actual name of your computer's sound card built in. Either way, make sure you see that the right one is selected. You see here under recording device, I used the iMic, which is a USB mic, and it automatically recognized it. Finally, there's another option, channels. Uh, make sure that that option is set to two stereo because you want two, stereo, two channel stereo recording because you have a lot better sound quality than with the mono or one channel recording. Okay, let's go to quality. We're not going to change any preferences here, but just to get accustomed to some of the different things you might see. <clears throat> this tab regulates the rate at which sound is recorded. The standard sample rate for any digital recording is 44,100 hertz, and you see that's already plugged in here as the default. Make sure that that's selected. Finally, let's look at directories. In this tab, you can set the folder on your hard drive where Audacity will save its project files. Any project you create on Audacity will be comprised of several smaller project files, and they need to be kept together in a secure place. So these preferences are prone to reset to their defaults whenever you start a new Audacity project. So I always advise that you get a look at your preferences before starting a new project, always. Once that's done, Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to start a new project. <coughs> to record, click the button with the red circle on it or simply press R. You can see the sound waves of your voice. You can see the sound waves of your voice being recorded directly into the track in real time. Also, you can see the output monitor um, is peaking every time I speak. So uh, what should I say? Hi, my name is Harlow and this is Audacity. Now press stop, the button with the yellow square on it. You're done, you terminated your recording. To play it back, click on the purple arrows pointing left to bring your playhead to the beginning of the track and press play or the space bar. So you can see the <laughs> output monitor. It's that simple. Um, 